being a physician that treats patients with rare diseases is, is really a privilege, right? Because you really have to develop trust with your patients and really develop a connection that you don't necessarily have to for more common diseases. And that's because we don't always have information, right? If you have more common types of cancers and you come to my clinic, I can definitively tell you this is right and this is wrong. When you get to rare tumors, we just don't have that information. And so it really is more of a communication, more of a discussion, and really just kind of a trust saying, I think this is the best thing to do, but we don't always know because we don't always have that information. So it really is kind of a privilege where you can really get to know and develop stronger bonds with your patients. I think the other thing too is it's really an area where you can make tremendous benefit. You know, like Lauren mentioned, we both, <clears throat> when we were in residency, noticed or got involved with ocular oncology and realized this is actually a terrible disease. And it's sad that there are no options for this disease. And, and what that means is that there's a lot of things that we can do, right? There's a lot of progress that can be made. So um, especially now in the times where drug development and science mm -hmm. and all of these new technologies are really you know, they've been taken off for a couple of years, but they're getting so much deeper and so much better. And even AI now being able to better understand these diseases and help guide